Are we on? <laughs> it doesn't feel like a year. So let's start there. <laughs> the first question I'm going to ask, what did COVID teach you about human connection? Um, Good one. Um, 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 it's crazy that it's only been a year since we had that video. <laughs> Which is like, I'm like, oh my God. What did COVID teach me about human connection? The importance of it. <laughs> How important family was during that time. That it's like, it's key. We have to have human connection. Human connection, main thing. You can't beat face-to-face -face connection, which is weird coming out of a year where we've got the most digital connection ever. And I thought that was enough to have like video call, messaging, Facebook, Instagram, even TikTok as a form of connecting with people from all around the world. I think it's really just reaffirmed the, like the value that it has. It doesn't take much to keep in touch, to care, to check up on someone. I'm very, very close more now than ever. Um, with my family. It taught me about how interconnected we actually all are. We are so fundamentally connected by our humanness. 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 Is that a word? I don't know. <laughs> really focusing in on like more deep uh, connections with people. I feel like now more than ever we're so aware of just how interconnected we all are and how necessary it is to be mindful of and carefully cultivate our own energy because the energy of the collective is made up of the energy of the individual, right? And I feel like during COVID, I spent more time talking to my friends, like on FaceTime and just making that effort. I guess because everyone was in the same boat. So we really, it, it really made us realize like how much we needed to make that effort. The little things that I know my family personally did to keep that connection just with one another and still feel as close. We want to keep doing that stuff now. We have to have human connection. I think it just, I don't know, highlight for me highlights the importance how much you need community. You can't beat face-to-face -face contact. And then when you have the option taken off you to physically see someone that you care about, it's all you can think about. To me, there, it, it didn't matter how many phone calls or texts or video calls or whatever that there was, carrier pigeons, whatever the option was, nothing was ever enough to like fill that void. Yet in our busy lives, we tend to prioritize menial tasks like work uh, more than anything, not connection so much. It's everything I always thought it was, but now it's like I know for sure. Like I said, I, I got to see how important it was to spend time with, with loved ones. You know, I'm always connected with everybody, especially during traveling. I met so many other people, but it's nothing like having family, you know? Family is just something else. So. Quite a bit in that timing, I couldn't see my family because when we the restrictions like full on, oh my God, like I just, it made me value that so much more. I'm definitely making more time to speak to my friends and just realizing what's really important in life, Mon. <laughs> It just like this whole positive thing came out of it that we just want to keep going. So it was just purely about family during that time. It's the biggest part of connection for me is having people that I care about right in front of me. And I ended up kind of like spreading myself too thin across people who I thought were fun, but I didn't really have that deeper connection with them. I feel like I've connected with so many people from, you know, around the world, inclusive of yourself, which I think was the start of that. And um, afterwards, it just sort of amplified not having met them in person, which I think was quite beautiful. Last time we had this conversation, we had to do it from home. We had to Zoom and, you know, we walked into a world where we were walking with our masks on. How, how much better is this? Like, I can touch you, and I think that's really, really nice. But there's nothing like having that one-on-one -on -one connection, you know, with people, you know, it, it feels good again to, to be able to do it. Because we have social media now that you, you, like, see an inkling into everyone's life and you think, yeah, you know what's going on with them. Unless you're actually picking up the phone and talking to them. Like, I feel like our relationships in that way have diminished at this point in time. It definitely um, showed that we are, you know, we had this almost gravitational pull toward social experiences. And I personally felt that I really, I craved it. You know, I didn't even know that it was something that I really um, valued beforehand. If you just focus on yourself, it's really easy to get into this place of like just self-pity and victimhood and think about, oh, my problem, my feeling, my dilemma, my stress, my struggle. 
but if you open yourself up to the collective and you actually orient your thoughts and your energy and your actions towards community and serving and making everything that you do for yourself about being more available to the collective, it actually inspires and motivates you to get the fuck up on the days that you don't want to. The next question is, what has changed for you in a year? This was actually a really good question because I was like, ooh. Oh, great question. My whole entire life and every single aspect has changed. I need to not worry about things that I don't have control of. I've had a pretty busy year. <laughs> This time last year, new house, new job, new hair, new friends, a new, I guess, perspective. And basically COVID taught me the power of time and the power of time well spent, um, slowing down and connection. I feel like I spent a lot of time doing things that don't have, don't bring value to my life. When I first read the question, it was really funny. I noticed how I straight away defaulted into like something tangible to look at that I've achieved in the last year or so. Like learning to lean into the feeling of total lack of control. Like so acceptance and surrender, like that was probably the biggest thing for me on a personal level. My understanding of radical acceptance. We were meant to get married last year. Just like so many people in our situation, that wasn't able to happen. So we were like, all right, well, what can we control? And so have little, little Eddie. And be concerned about what's close to me, the people that I care about, and cannot be worried about stuff that's out of my control. Every other single tiny little aspect of my life has changed and some for the good some for the bad like i thought my old job was everything that was what brought value to me and i thought that was like you know the coolest thing about me um i've learned to adapt to our new normal um, and keep all those valuable lessons at top of mind so the likes of connection family i think those simple pleasures that i don't say i wouldn't say i took it for granted before i just think now i'm so much more appreciative of it i have put my mind into into a lot of other things i uh, hoping to be more value, like I started learning more. I realised how much I think within my life I've always attached my self-worth to doing something. It was just constantly about that external validation going, yeah, I'm good at this, so I have value in this. And then when I removed that, I was like, holy fuck, well, who actually am I as a person? Well, I probably learnt I had a bit of a fuck it button. And understanding how much suffering we can create for ourselves when we resist what is. Last time I spoke to you, it was a lot about my mental health and it's crazy how much Eddie like improved that. If like this time last year, never, ever, 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 ever in a million years would have I thought all the things that have happened have happened and I would have been in all the mental states that I have been. It's also crazy how quick it's gone. Every single aspect of my life has changed since last year. Um, and like people have so many more in like interests and so many people have like lost jobs or moved jobs, moved houses, moved states. So a lot of people are in positions now where they might not want to be or they are in positions where they're better off. It's made me save more of a life with purpose. My gratitude and mindfulness has increased. You know, my mentality has grown a lot more since since a year ago. Uh, but now that I'm here, I see so much opportunity, you know, like I'm getting exactly what I actually was looking for. Life has changed in that sense. And I, I feel very happy in that, in that sense. Within the last year, personal growth wise has been really big. Appreciation, gratitude, not taking anything for granted, enjoying the smallest of pleasures. I just went like, you know, let's just lean into life a little bit more. Byron Katie would say like, don't fight with reality. And I think I spent a year going in and out of like these rounds in the ring with life and reality and what was happening. And um, I really understood that if I could just get to a place that I was just accepting what is, rather than getting hung up or caught up on the expectations I had for things or the way things should be or could be, then I was able to find a place of peace and ease within myself. Within a year, my mindset is completely different, completely positive, and I'm like, all right, well, I can take on anything. As soon as I found out I was pregnant, all of a sudden I was like, I've, I've got this. Oh my God, so, yeah. I'm so happy to hear that. Yeah, it's been an awesome year. Yeah, I think I was like holding myself back 
this time last year and I, I was comfortable. I was way too comfortable. I wouldn't even say that I was like, happy with it. It was comfortable and I thought comfortable was safe. Whereas in the last year, like the most craziest things have happened, but I'm better off for it. Even if I'm not where necessarily where I want to be right now, the changes that have brought me to where I am, I like I wouldn't give them up and I'm happy about everything that's happened despite it sucking at the time. And just every day is a chance to be better, trying a day and um, putting your best self forward. You know, therefore, opening another restaurant, like looking at other opportunities and kind of using the fear as motivation almost. Yeah. This year, I think I'm more in a place of just like radical acceptance and allowing rather than being like so like driven and hungry to create. That's the difference. Ha ha ha!